hello and welcome to the channel in this video we'll create this model the simple model in FreeCAD we'll create this model with these treated holes as you can see here we'll create this model as a way to practice drawing in FreeCAD using part design workbench okay so first here I need to create a new document click on this icon here to create a new document and change here to part design workbench select this workbench here if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel and leave a like in this video i also have a coffee page in which you can donate to support the channel if you want link to this page can be found in the description of this video thank you and now create a new body and a new sketch for this sketch here select xy plane okay and in this sketch here we'll draw a cycle so go to sketch geometers and here select cycle tool and now click in this origin point and draw this cycle and now we'll continue the demo of this cycle so let's see the dimension of this cycle in the string page so here in the east of view we can see this range here a range of 20 so this will be the range of our cycle so let's go back and here select click in this arrow and select constraint radius click in the cycle and set 16 no here will set 20 millimeters okay the edge of the cycle is 20 and now leave the sketch for some and select this pad tool and for this pad we'll set a length of 15 millimeters so change here and now hit ok and next here we'll create a new sketch so click in this icon to create a new sketch and select a plane for this sketch for example we'll select xy plane okay and now switch to section view click in this icon here and go to sketch geometers and here click in this arrow and select center rectangle so we'll use this tool here to create a rectangle click in this origin point and now draw this rectangle in this way and now we'll set the dimension of this rectangle so here in this string page we can see the dimensions so here we have vertical dimension of 28 and we have this horizontal dimension here 85 millimeters so we come back and here we selected this tool here constraint distance and now clicking this line here and for this line we'll set a length of 28 as you can see here and we'll set 85 for the horizontal line so select this line here and set 85 and now this sketch is full constrained so leave the sketch and now select this pad tool and the length of this pad here will be the same we'll set 15 okay and now we have this and the next operation here is to create the fillets we'll create these fillets here so the radio fillet is 5 millimeters and here too so here we select this H and you go to the fillet tool click in this icon and change the radius to 5 and now click in this add button and we can change this draw style to click in this arrow we change the draw style to wireframe and now is too easy to select this H so we select the H and now click OK and now we have this so now let's go back to flat lines and next here we have to create a fillet in this edge so the range of this fillet will be one millimeters so here select this edge and now select fillet tool and here as you can see we have one millimeters here so click OK and now as you can see we have this and the next step here is to create this 
this pocket here so how we can do that here we select this bottom face okay and we go to the thickness tool okay and first here we check this option make thickness in words and as you can see we don't have a result here so what you'll do here first here we'll set the dimension of this thickness so as you can see here we have h5 and h3 so it means that the thickness of this part here is one millimeters so okay let's go back and what we'll do here here will here we'll change these parameters for example here in the joint type we'll change to intersection and now as you can see we have this so it's okay now click ok and and next here what we'll do we'll create these parts here we'll create these cylinders and these holes or first we can create these pockets here okay so here select this top face and create a new sketch and here we'll draw a cycle click in this origin point and draw this cycle and next we'll question the range of this cycle so here we can see the radius here we'll set this radius here 16 so select this question here question radius and now click in this cycle and set 16 okay and now leave this sketch and create a pocket here okay click ok and next select this face again and create a new sketch and now here we'll do this part here so what to do select this center rectangle tool and now click in this origin point and do this okay and now we'll set the dimension of this rectangle so here we see this horizontal dimension 1.5 okay so here select this constraint distance tool and set 1.5 for this line here okay and for this vertical line we can set we can set a length of 35 it's okay and now leave this sketch and select that tool set reversal and change the length here to one millimeter the value of the thickness and now click ok and next here we'll create these parts okay to do this we go to model and select this pad here and now polar pattern tool and here we'll change the number of occurrence to We'll change to 10 change here to 10 and and okay now we see this and next click ok and now select this face again and create a new sketch and here we'll create these cycles so what you do select this cycle tool and through this first cycle and now this cycle and next this cycle here and now we'll do this and okay and now here we'll constrain the radius of these cycles so select this question radius tool and for the cycle here we'll set the radius of 2.7 okay and for this cycle here we'll set we'll set 8 millimeters okay and here for this cycle we'll set 9 millimeters and for the cycle here we'll set 12.5 so select the cycle and set 
the radius here and next here we have the estimation here for this cycle so we set the dimension here and next leave this sketch and go to the pad tool again and and here we'll set reverse it and the length we set one millimeters. Okay, and now we have this, so click OK. And next here we'll create these these parts, these two parts, and these holes here. So first here we select this edge and we create a new sketch in this place and in here we draw a cycle we draw two cycles okay we set these two cycles equal and here we'll set the smash constraint so we'll select this smash constraint tool and now these two center points and these vertical line okay and now we have this so now we have two degrees of freedom so here we'll set the amount of these cycles and the distance between these cycles. So here in this top view we can see six millimeters for the distance and we'll set a amount of 10 for these cycles. So first here click in this arrow and select constraint diameter and set 10 here and now select this horizontal distance tool, select these two center points and set 60 okay and now leave the sketch select this pet tool set reverse it and change length to 10 millimeters this dimension here and now click ok and as you can see now we have these two cylinders okay and next here we'll create this hole here with a diameter of 9 and length of 2 millimeters so here we go to model and what we do here click in this arrow and copy this sketch here and click on mouse and select copy and here we select only this sketch and click ok now click in this past icon and drag this sketch into this body here space bar to make this sketch visible and now double click and here we'll change the diameter of the cycle to nine millimeters so double click and set nine and now leave the sketch and select pocket tool And here we'll set a length of 2 millimeters. So change and click enter. And now, as you can see, we have this pocket. And next, here we'll create these three dot holes, okay, with this reference M6. So here, click Ctrl and select these two faces. And now go to this hole tool. Okay, and now, okay, let's increase this size here. And here, first, we change the profile to isometric regular profile. And here, we set treated. And next, we change the size to M6. Okay, and here. And now, to see the, the treat. What you do is select this option here, Older Treat, and now select Update View. And as you can see, now we have these treated holes. We have a treat here in this hole. Okay, so, so next click OK. And it's all. So if you find this video useful, please leave a like and, and a comment. So as you can see, we finished uh, the design of this model. So thank you for watching this video. Please share this video with your friends. Okay, thank you.